Hello everybody and welcome to another modeling video. Today we are taking a look at the Rails Iron Mink. Uh, originally I didn't know this was a Dapple product but I had some suspicion about it. Mostly because it kind of did look like a Dapple wagon. But as you can see, it is in fact a Dapple wagon. So the one we are taking a look at today is the salvage van as you can see and that is the blue one well one I, I think one of two they did do two and uh, the the other one has the yellow shirt button and this one obviously has the white shirt button so let's get into it now the main reason why I am doing uh, a review on this is because uh, nobody else does I haven't seen a single review on any of these these wagons. So we do have an accessory bag and that is these uh, tension lock couplings. So me personally, I don't like these. So goodbye. So anyway, here we have the wagon. As you can see it's very reflective. And it's uh, held in by these little foam, little foam inserts. So we'll just take those out and drop the wagon as well. <laughs> so there we go. We almost had a gunpowder van incident. So let's get everything out of the way. And then we can take a closer look at the Iron Mink. And there we have it, the Rails Iron Mink. First thing I'm going to say is, this is a 3D printed wagon. There's something I forgot to mention. Yeah, so this whole thing, chassis and all, is 3D printed. But I don't believe it's one of their one of the first 3D printed wagons they did. I know they did some Southeastern Chatham uh, vans. Uh, I think those were released right before the pandemic happened. I don't know when these re were released. I think they were released last year. Sometime last year they were released. We'll talk about that later. But for a 3D printed wagon, it actually looks pretty good. And that's saying much for me because I don't like 3D printed stuff like at all but yeah it's actually really impressive you can see all the rivets every single rivet is well picked out and especially the under the underbody the chassis the detail on that is absolutely amazing you can't really see it very well because i'm recording off my phone and my phone is very temperamental so i will probably put some pictures up Yeah, that looks really good. And one of the things that looks really, really, really good is the writing and the lettering and the numbering on this wagon. Except for like this bit, like where the it goes across the panels. That could, in my opinion, that could be done a little better. But it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. The buffers aren't sprung, obviously. Um, I don't really see the point in sprung buffers on a wagon, even though I've talked about it before. But, yeah, they're not sprung. You don't get any chain link couplings or screw link couplings or any of that sort. But one thing this wagon does do, the roof comes off. And like I said, for a 3D printed wagon, it actually is pretty heavy. Um... <laughs> So that was one of the first things that I noticed when I got it out of the box for the first time. Was how heavy this was. It was I was expecting it to be pretty light. It was not. <laughs> it actually surprised me. Now the roof is something I want to talk about because I know people have had issues with the roof with on some of their models. Like they've had like cracks and stuff in the roofs. Uh, mine doesn't have that, thankfully. So yeah. The chassis, was, we'll look at that real quick. The wheels roll pretty well. 
there's no they don't stick to anything the brake shoes aren't touching the wheels which could cause um, cause them to not rotate so yeah here we have the the <laughs> the NEM couplings and yeah it's a pretty decent wagon despite it being 3d printed so so let's take a look at how it performs shall we so here we have the rails dapple iron mink here on our bit of test track and like what I said in my gunpowder van review I really don't feel like setting up my actual temporary layout because I'm currently in the process of swapping track but I I really hope that this is enough if not then oh well so like I said this is a rail slash dapple exclusive so what better locomotive to haul this than another rails dapple exclusive obviously this is the terrier and we all know about these guys uh, these these guys are gonna get their own video in the future but uh, yeah this is my most recent acquisition but yeah so to keep it brief uh, these in my opinion are far more superior than the Hormy Terrier in every aspect apart from the lubrication part where you have to disassemble the brake rigging in order to gain access to lubricate the model I hate that I hate it so much but anyway that's not the point of this review the point of this review is this guy, the Iron Mink. So let's couple. Oh, wow, we got that good on camera. As you can see, perfect coupling. So I'm going to give you guys some running clips and then we will be back with our final thoughts so yeah see you guys in a bit So there is the rail slash dapple iron mink. Now obviously as I've stated numerous times this is a 3D printed wagon, but it's a pretty good 3D printed wagon. 
there are some issues, and you can tell it's a 3D printed wagon, obviously, because it still has, like, some of the uh, lines from the printing process. They're still visible on the body side, but they're not that visible unless you put it into sunlight. And there's uh, some flash on the on the chassis. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. Um, now these are, I believe, 28 pounds on rails, uh, 28, 27. I did get this at a slight discount because they did have a flash sale and they were uh, selling off what little they had left. So I got this for 23 pounds. I don't know if they're still doing that right now, but if they are, I will put a link in the description below. However, ironically, the day this showed up at my house was the day Rapido Trains announced their Iron Mink. And unlike this one, Rapido's will be uh, an actual plastic model and not a 3D printed model. So, I would recommend this, but this is always an option. Don't ever forget that, because the Rapido one is going to be 32 pounds, I believe. So you could get this for uh, slightly, slightly less than the Rapido wagon. But yeah, um, that's it for this review. I do apologize that it, if it, it wasn't the best or it's, you know, <laughs> it wasn't. As, as good as he wanted it to be. Uh, there isn't really that, that much to say about this 3D printed wagon. As I've stated before, the only reason why I'm doing this review is because nobody else has. So, yeah. This guy, on the other hand, he'll be getting his own video very, very shortly. But, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.